My name is Mitsuko Hayakawa, and um, I am a mother of three, and um, I am a support of CD1, um, and I'd like to have, um, I'm opposed to PLDC, but I'm primarily here for GMO labeling, and I would like to see the City Council support GMO labeling as a priority for our future. Um, I grew up in California, and four years ago I came to Hawaii. Um, I ate primarily organic most of my life, but um, in Hawaii everything is pretty expensive. So I started eating, um, feeding my children um, conventional foods, not knowing that um, they were laden with GMOs. So I really feel deceived. Um, and I, I believe that there are other mothers like me who would be really upset to know that their foods have GMOs. And so I am asking you to support GMO labeling and allow people to choose whether they eat or not. Um, I brought my son here and he would like to testify soon after me. Um, but for his sake and for my other children and for his um, peers, who will know maybe 10, 20 years from now the dangers of eating all these foods. I mean, the evidence is there. It's coming up every day. We find information how dangerous this could be. Um, so I'd like you to um, make this a priority. As city council, what you say has um, weight in our state legislature as well. So I, I, I ask you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Uh, Mr. Saikawa, you, you can remain there and just have to sit next to Would you go back and deliberate at the picnic table, the dinner table, or school around the playground? I want you to witness this, staff. People like you who came to testify today did this, just like you, all wanting to know what's in their food. I have no staff that says they disagree with you. Not one person gave me testimony mm. today. So when you go to the playground, the question to you is, when you go to school, you talk to your teachers, whatever it may be, if this council doesn't restore GMOs, and everybody like you wants the right to know, and this council didn't vote for your sediments, your wishes, what would be your response when you go back to school? What are you going to tell your peers, your classmates, that everybody wants to know? Nobody came here and said you shouldn't, but 
But if this council doesn't follow your lead, what would you tell your friends? How would you explain the vote? Do you have a response to that? Maybe it's me because I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask uh, your mother then. I'm gonna ask your mother uh, on behalf. Can you can you uh, chime in on that question? Um, last year, in the, when he was in the third grade, he did do a PowerPoint presentation on GMOs to his class, and um, exposed what he learned from reading um, Jeffrey Smith's uh, genetic plan. Um, and several other books and documentaries. He shared that information. And um, and so many of his students were concerned as well and, and um, have started asking questions about why isn't the FDA doing anything to protect us. And, um, and then um, shortly after that, um, he did, um, um, we, they were reading the social studies book and the first sentence in the social studies book says, the government protects the people. Huh? And he raised his hand <laughs> and told me that um, later on, he told me that this is wrong because we have been asking for GMO labeling and it hasn't happened. And all of his peers agreed. Hmm. 